Hi everyone welcome back to another video from CodeHell. Today I will show you how to make this amazing low-code 3D interactive website using Wix Studio. As you can see, this website provides a modern and interactive experience, showing how creative ideas can be brought to life effortlessly in Wix Studio, and this is what we will be building together in this video. So, let's get started. For those of you who don't know, Wix Studio is a website builder platform specifically designed for those of you who want to build a professional website in a practical, fast, and efficient way. So, if you are a designer, developer, or anyone who wants to build a website that truly stands out, Wix Studio provides many powerful and flexible tools to bring your visual ideas to life. Alright, now we are in the main interface of the Wix Studio editor. And by default, Wix Studio has already prepared a basic page structure like this as a starting point. Then on the left side of the editor, there is the main navigation panel. All important tools are available here so that the process of building a website feels faster and more flexible. So whatever we need, everything is available here. Okay, first we will start by setting the global text style for headings and paragraphs, so later when we add text elements to the canvas, the text style will immediately change according to the style we have set. So, now we can go to the Site Styles panel. First, we will edit Heading 2, then change the font to Poppins, set the size to 30 pixels, make it bold, and change the color to white. After that for Paragraph 2, also change the font to Poppins, set the size to 14 pixels, and change the color to white. Okay, because I want to create the header according to my needs, then I can delete this header section. The same goes for the footer section, I delete it because it is not needed. Now let's style this section. To set the styles of the element we select, everything can be done flexibly through this right panel. All the settings here look very intuitive so they really make it easier and faster to style elements. First we will set the height of the section, so I will enable advanced settings, then set the height to 100VH or viewport height. After that, change the background color of the section to 180825, then click Apply. Next we will create the header section. So, we can go to the Add Elements panel. Here there are various kinds of elements and different categories that we can directly use in building a website. Okay, now let's drag the container element to the canvas. In Wix Studio, the position of elements can be arranged very flexibly as we like. But if you want more precision, we can also use the Align feature available here. Alright, now let's set the width of the container to 100% so it fills the width of the canvas, then set the height to 90 pixels. After that, align its position to the top, then remove the background color, and lastly set the horizontal padding to 150 pixels so that the left and right sides of the header have space. Okay. Next we will add a text that we will use as a logo here. So, we can go to the Add panel again, and choose the title element. After that, change the text, then align it to the left and to the vertical center. Now for the navbar links. We can go into Menu and Search, and choose according to what we want. So that we can style the text of this link, we need to change it into an anchor first. The way is, open Manage Menu, click these three dots, Choose Change Link, then select Anchor, set it to Home, and click Done. Next, let's set its styles. Change the font to Poppins, set the font size to 18 pixels, and change the color to white. Okay, now we will add the other navbar links. So, go back into Manage menu, click the three dots, choose Duplicate, then change the text as needed, and repeat the same steps to add the other links. Lastly, Align its position to the right and to the vertical center. And when we see the result in preview, now we already have a simple navbar but still looks neat and modern. Alright, next we will add content to this section. First, we can add a title. Change the text, set the font size to 200 pixels. Align the text to the center, then position it right in the middle of the section. Next, add a paragraph element. Change the text. Align the text to the center, and adjust its position. And lastly, add a button. Change the button text, change the background color, then set the radius to 100 pixels so that the left and right sides of the button are rounded. 
After that, change the font size to 12 pixels, slightly reduce the height to 38 pixels, and adjust its position. Then select all these elements and click stack so that these elements are grouped into one stack layout. Set the spacing between the title and the paragraph to zero, then the spacing between the paragraph and the button to 40 pixels. All right, now let's animate all these elements. First for the navbar, we can go to animations and effects. Here Wix Studio provides various triggers to animate an element. For this case, we use entrance. After that, we are asked to choose an animation. Here there are so many amazing animations that we can use. And here, I will choose the slide animation. Then if we want to adjust the animation, we can click adjust animation. Here we will change the direction to from top. Okay, next for the title text, use the entrance trigger again, then choose the slide animation. Then for the paragraph, choose the same trigger and animation, but add a 0.5 second delay. Lastly for the button, use the same animation and add a 0.8 second delay. Okay, to make our website look more attractive, now we will add a 3D model to the website. All right. Now we are on the Spline community page. Here there are lots of really cool 3D models available. But you are also free to use other 3D model provider platforms according to your preference. Once we have chosen a 3D model, we can click export. Then in the public URL section, click copy embed to copy the code. After that, go back to the Wix Studio editor, add an iframe to the canvas, paste the code here, then click update. Then click stretch so that the 3D model neatly fills the canvas area. Lastly, on the title text, change the blend mode to soft light so that it blends better with the 3D model. All right, so that our website can be directly accessed by the public, we can click the publish button in the top right corner. Then here we can choose the free domain provided by Wix Studio or connect our own domain. After that, click save and continue. And done. And here is the final result, a low-code 3D interactive website that we have built together using Wix Studio. With Wix Studio, you have complete freedom to create modern and interactive websites without having to write a lot of code. Anyone can build a high-quality website without restrictions. Wix Studio truly makes it easy to turn creative ideas into a professional website. If you want to create a website that is innovative, elegant, and standout, Wix Studio provides all the tools you need. So, go ahead and try Wix Studio through the link in this video description. Alright, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and see you in the next video.